Sir Roger Bannister was the first man to run a sub four minute mile, one of the most iconic athletic milestones. Born in the 23rd of March 1929, he studied medicine at Oxford University and represented Great Britain in the 1952 Olympics in Helsinki. At the Olympics, Roger Bannister finished fourth in the 1500 metres. But, inspired by the intensive training and three gold medals of Emil Zatopek, Bannister decided to make a determined effort to beat the magical four-minute barrier for the mile. At the time, Bannister was working as a doctor and only had limited time for training in the evening. He focused on short intervals, anaerobic training and the use of block training, building up for certain weeks. For a long time, the beautiful symmetry of the four-minute mile had fascinated many. Some experts even suggested that such a time was impossible. In 1923, Harvo Nermi, the flying fin, recorded a time of 4.10. In 1953, Roger Bannister saw an opportunity at an athletic meeting between Oxford University and Amateur Athletics Association on 6 May. The actual day was cold, wet and windy and the record attempt was nearly called off. However, at the last moment, the wind died down, and Bannister decided to take his chance. He was led out by two pacemakers Chris Chataway and Chris Brasher who led him for the first three laps. Then Bannister made his last effort for the line. Clearly, on the verge of exhaustion, Bannister almost fainted over the line, before the timekeeper, Norris McQuirter, read out his time. McQuirter who went on to work on the Guinness Book of World Records read out the time to create suspension. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the result of Event 9, the 1 mile, first, number 41, R.G. Bannister, Amateur Athletic Association and formerly of Exeter and Merton Colleges, Oxford, with a time which is a new meeting and track record, and which, subject to ratification, will be a new English native, British national, all comers, European, British Empire and world record, the time was 3, the seconds were not heard as the 3,000 crowd cheered the historic moment, six weeks later in Finland. The Australian John Landy became the second person to beat the four-minute mile setting a new world record of 3 minutes 57 seconds, but, who remembers the second person to run a sub-four-minute mile, Bannister held the one-mile record for the shortest time. After breaking the record, Bannister concentrated on his medical career and remained modest about his ground-breaking achievement. He also served as Master of Pembroke College, Oxford, before retiring in 1993. He later said there was an element of luck in being the first person to break the four-minute mile, it remains one of the great milestones of athletic history. On 7 August, at the 1954 British Empire and Commonwealth Games in Vancouver, BC, Bannister, running for England, competed against Landy for the first time in a race billed as the Miracle Mile. They were the only two men in the world to have broken the four-minute barrier, with Landy still holding the world record. Landy led for most of the race, building a lead of 10 yards in the third lap of four but was overtaken on the last bend, and Bannister won in 3 minutes 58.8 s, with Landy 0.8 s behind in 3 minutes 59.6 s. Bannister and Landy have both pointed out that the crucial moment of the race was that at the moment when Bannister decided to try to pass Landy, Landy looked over his left shoulder to gauge Bannister's position and Bannister burst past him on the right, never relinquishing the lead. A larger-than-life bronze sculpture of the two men at that moment was created by Vancouver sculptor Jack Harmon in 1967 from a photograph by Vancouver Sun photographer Charlie Warner and stood for many years at the entrance to Empire Stadium. After the stadium was demolished the sculpture was moved a short distance away to the Hastings and Renfrew entrance of the Pacific National Exhibition Fairgrounds. Regarding this sculpture, Landy quipped, while Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt for looking back, I am probably the only one ever turned into bronze for looking back. Bannister went on that season to win the so-called metric mile, the 1,500 metres, at the European Championships in Bern, Switzerland, on 29 August, with a championship record in a time of 3 minutes 43.8 s. He retired from athletics late in 1954 to concentrate on his work as a junior doctor and to pursue a career in neurology. He was awarded a CBE the following year for services to amateur athletics.
On the 50th anniversary of running the mile in under four minutes, Bannister was interviewed by the BBC's sports correspondent Rob Bonnet. At the conclusion of the interview, Bannister was asked whether he looked back on the SUB four-minute mile as the most important achievement of his life. Bannister replied that he instead saw his subsequent 40 years of practicing medicine and some of the new procedures he introduced as being more significant. He also said that, in terms of athletic achievement, he felt his performances at the 1952 Olympics and the 1954 Commonwealth Games were more significant than running the SUB four-minute mile. Ironically, although Roger Bannister is arguably the most famous record setter in the mile, he is also the man who held the record for the shortest period of time, at least since the IAAF started to ratify records. Bannister received many honors for his achievements in sports and medicine. He was knighted in the 1975 New Year Honours, and appointed member of the Order of the Companions of Honour CH in the 2017 New Year Honours for Services to Sport. Bannister was an honorary fellow of both Exeter College and Merton College, where he studied at the University of Oxford. He was also honorary fellow of Harris Manchester College, Oxford. He received honorary degrees Doctor of Science from the University of Sheffield in 1978 and from the University of Bath in 1984. He also received honorary degrees from the University of Pavia in 1986 and from Brunel University London in 2008 Dunav as well as an honorary doctorate from Oxford Brookes University in 2014. In 2000, Bannister received the Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement. Bannister was made an honorary freeman of the London Borough of Harrow on 4 May 2004, and was granted the freedom of the City of Oxford in 2004.